Welcome to the best part of Disneyland Hotel, <laughs> the museum, original map. But here's the best part. Oh shit. So many things. You can stand here for hours. And that is nightmare fuel. It's got so many layers. Walt Disney Roy. Country bears, so many country mm. bears. Hello everybody, Princess Bear here, and today we're in California, oddly enough. For my nostalgia vibe, Rio, Goofy's Kitchen. This may be her whole personality. This may be her starlight rays. We're gonna go find it out. It absolutely is, and I haven't been here since I was a vegetarian, so I have no idea if they have anything vegan, and frankly, I don't care. I just want to see the characters. Really I just want to see Goofy in his little chef outfit. It's like Chef Mickey in California. We've had this trip planned for over a year. This is what she's been talking about. I Goofy's cannot kitchen. shut up about Goofy's kitchen. Goofy's kitchen. I'm sorry. It's it's not even like the best food. It's a buffet, but I just nostalgia vibes. You guys know how it is. Well, let's go see what Goofy's cooking. Be sure to stay Goofy and subscribe. You're the girl. Magical memories. After combing Disneyland and the Disney archives, they found and all the collectors cons and everything they assembled everything commemorating Disneyland's 35th anniversary so beautiful oh that grad night 82 all the original and uh, new and old cast member name tags look at that one look at Mickey Oh, the back scratchers. Oh my god, I love this so much. The Donald hat. The hat is life. I remember those. The squeaky um, seven dwarfs. Like like plastic squeak toys, you, like bath toys. Squeak, squeak. Roy.
Beautiful dining here at Goofy's Kitchen. Starting with a, I think this is a regular. I don't think this is the orange mimosa. We got a mimosa flight. That's the orange. Eh. I give it like a two out of five. If a flight exists, the princess will fly it. And I will be a uh, somewhat willing slash unwilling passenger. Cheers and the rest of life. Hey, right, definitely your standard mimosa. With the proper orange juice to champagne ratio. For that, you're doing the basics well. Put three and a half out of five flowers. I have a pomegranate. Pomegranate slaps. I'll give the pomegranate a four out of five. We have this butte right here. Interesting color. I usually prefer like cranberry juice or raspberry juice for my mimosas. I'm not an orange juice mimosa stand, but I'm never going to turn one down either. I can't really place the juice. I think it's cranberry, but I'm not sure. Pomegranate? That explains that. It's got a certain tart to it. This works. The champagne. It's like they're indistinguishable from each other. That four out of five plus. I think this one might be blood orange. I think it's grapefruit actually. That's not bad. Three out of five. We have the blood orange mimosa. Smells like orange. Well, this tastes smells more like an orange and orange juice. If I had to pick between blood orange and orange juice, I'm picking blood orange every time. Three and a half out of five bucks. I think this one's raspberry. Interesting. Three out of five. Overall, I don't know if I would mimosa fly it again, but it's decent. It's definitely gonna pair well with my plethora of vegan items that I have here at Goofy's Kitchen. And for the final stop in this flight, <sighs> that's probably the most hard of all. Ooh. I can't place that berry, but I like that. Four out of five plus. It's pomegranate, peach, raspberry, but it doesn't say the fourth one. Orange, <laughs> pom oh, it's one orange, one pomegranate, one peach, and one raspberry. This is the chamoy chiller. Oh, this is interesting. There is a lot of flavors going on in here. We have a really strong pineapple, but also a really nice like fire next to it. It is really, really good. I kind of want to steal this one from the bear. And you know how I feel about pineapple. Five out of five flowers is good. A nice chamois chula. It's a little really good flower served with your alcohol. I won't stand for food cocktail on my drinks. But a flower, I have absolutely no problem with because of course I make zero sense. We have what I assume is a tahini rim. It is. Ooh. Thank you so much. Instead of being something that chills you to like the bone or the temperature wise, imagine something that has like, if you put the feeling of chilling by a bonfire at night with a nice drink, that is this drink. I remember one of those interesting cocktails that I've tasted in a long time. That's a five out of five, and that is on my bare necessities list. Disney World, I need this. I need this. She can't have it. Number one, 
everything is better when it's Mickey shaped and you know it. Number two, Earth Balance Butter. Number three, syrup. Come to me. I'm giving, I'm putting butter on this. On this little ear that I'm cutting off. I'm cutting it, but then I'm also touching it with my fingers. That doesn't make any sense. And then dip because I'm a dipper and not a pour. Oh my gosh. Light, fluffy, crispy. Literally the perfect Mickey waffle. Five out of five Mickeys. I don't even think Bear's going to want to give this plate back to me. It's so good. This is like literally the best Mickey waffle I've ever had. I will go also go ahead and do this princess style. A little slice of the vegan butter because this actually won't kill me. Put it right there in little Mickey's little ear. Go ahead and remove said ear and dunk it in the sauce. All the way in the sauce. Nice and drippy. Drippy and mm. That is fluffy and light. And that same like waffle crunch with the soft inside. Unlike some of the cake sort of consistency. Uh, Mickey waffles we got in the past. This feels like an actual method of Mickey waffles in this thing. addition to the Earth Balance. I'm still not giving over to waffle supremacy. It's still pancakes of everything. It's pancakes of cake. But this is a solid Mickey waffle. Give me this four out of five claws. This is the kind of Mickey waffle that makes me understand what Mickey waffle fans go so crazy about. Uh, this buffet is, is less breakfast or more brunch. So um, you literally have everything you can imagine. I didn't even know where to start, so I picked a little bit of something from everywhere. And something that I have not seen, I think in a very long time, is a Mickey pancake. You're allowed to talk about Mickey waffles, but never about the Mickey pancake. This may be the superior breakfast food. Now, unfortunately, I missed out on the syrup, and I could not find it. So, no dipping this time. We're gonna pour as not to contaminate the syrup. I'm gonna go ahead and get that little fold over there. Pin it with the fork. It's not the fluffiest waffle I've ever seen, or the fluffiest pancake I've ever seen, but we, are, we care about flavor here, not looks. Definitely a pancake. I love the fluffiest pancake I've had. I think I've had fluffier pancakes than McDonald's. Unfortunately, this time, I'm gonna have to give the win to the waffle. I'm not happy about saying that, but a win's a win. Two to five points. Then, I have a legit Mickey waffle. The non-plant-based version. Go ahead, take a little ear off here. Dip in my remaining strip. For the same sort of color and consistency. A well-cooked Mickey waffle. Even though my waffles are sitting on buffet line, and the princess are fresh, same level of just consistency and taste. It's all waffle. It also gets a four. Um, I'm sorry, pancakes. You just lost the scrap. Maybe next time. Then, and true, I never grew. I never grew up beyond middle school. We have breakfast pizza. Eggs, bacon, and cheese on the pizza. Yes. Honestly, it just makes me want to go home and create uh, a smoky bacon tempeh and just egg pizza. That sounds good.
It's enough egg without being overpowering, and then the same for the bacon. Going well on top of a nice cheese pizza. Everything's balanced. That's good. I could definitely eat more of that. Four out of five plus. Of course, in the history of time, there's not been a single buffet that it's ever existed where I've turned down a double egg. If you ever had a cookout, you left a plate, and you came back and you were gone, it was probably me. Even if you don't know me. Good. It was a hairless male. It's still good. Three and a half out of five laws. And of course, children, just because they have all the good stuff doesn't mean you need to skip your greens. I love broccoli. Find your one vegetable that you like and make it your entire personality. I will only eat most vegetables if they're shaped like trees at this point. And it's all because of broccoli. Nice broccoli salad. Some berries and tomatoes in there. We like a good tree. And the dinosaurs and land before time could eat trees. This dinosaur could also eat a tree. Three and a half out of five flaws. And we have a nice green salad with some huge tomatoes in here. Nicely dressed. Let's give it a bite. Let's put some nice balance and nice tang to it. I give that Welcome three out of five bucks. Let's get ready for good times with some fun loving foodies. And leading the way, here he is, the king of cuisine, Chef Goofy. Strawberry salad from Publix. Five out of five salads. It's good. Now when they call it a berry salad, they're not messing around. Strawberries, blueberries. Looks like some other kind of berries. Raspberries. All salady. Salady. I'm sorry, but berries in the salad are my idea of salad. That's strong. Strong. Strong like this man. Let's see his Three and a half out of five bucks. Now this is another interesting salad. It's got whole olives in it and like big great tomatoes. Lots of pieces of beautiful healthy spinach. This is a huge bite in its own. I'm gonna have a hard time eating this. Looks like a sweet mustard dressing that I'm here for. I love this, but my mouth is full. I ate way too much, but I'm gonna give it a four out of five. This is a salad for people with very big mouths. There's a lot going on here in the circular variety. Huge, like half tomatoes. You got a huge pieces of spinach. You got huge heirloom tomatoes. You got olives, which are also huge, which the princess carefully navigated. I did notice that. And then this thing, which is a... Uh, I don't even want to know what that is. It's huge and I'm not putting it in my mouth. This is still a family channel. Mmm. Mmm. 
combination of flavors worked really well. It was like a nice like a vegetable Italian family style salad. I think this is my favorite, even over the oh, so berries. Very good, thank Very good, thank you. Very good, thank you. Four and a half out of five pots. This is a salad to get in my mind. When Chef told me that she could make me scalloped potatoes that were vegan, I was shocked. But look at this. She just like, you basically put thinly sliced potatoes and you oven roast them. They smell like chips. Mmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Now that is bomb. That is really bomb. Like a nice little crispy, thin. I don't even know. It's not a mashed potato. It's not a chip. It's somewhere in the middle. It's some happy, sweet spot between crunchy and soft. And I'm here for it. Five out of five scalloped potatoes. I love Goofy's Kitchen. I'm biased. But I love Goofy's Kitchen. We do love a chef that works with what they have. Offering up scalloped potatoes as an off the menu buffet item is like king slash king behavior. King slash queen behavior. There's a nice roast to them, but they're still seasoned. I like that. Mm. This is the kind of potatoes inside. The prince is going to be trying to replicate for at least the next year. It is amazing. Five out of five plus. It's so simple, but so well to do. No, don't eat all my potatoes. You didn't see that. Chef said she could make me a vegan omelet with vegan cheese, and I told her to load me up with all the veggies. Just go eight. She asked me if I wanted Hallie's. I said yes. I said just let's go. She put a salsa in here. Look at all this. This is definitely an expanded, folded just, I feel. Let's go. Let's just go. I'm just gonna take a piece. I'm probably gonna need to half this. Yeah. I can do it. Actually, there's a mushroom in here. Let me take the mushroom off. Okay, here we go. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's a Joe Spolding with the vegan cheese and the nice little jalapeno kick to it. How come I can't get an omelet like this at Disney World? It's so good. I'm gonna give this a four and a half out of five omelets. I want omelets like this at home. Chef can make me eat things that I don't usually eat at home. Here, this is a successful breakfast. We have a nice, I think they're using the folded just, so I can see the seams. They're used to be, that's not a cooking seam, that's literally folded just, spread out and then cook. Fine with that if that works better for an omelet. This thing is full of the things. Some of the cheese, dirt rooms, looks like olives. The princess probably should have specified her vegetables. Because half of these are <laughs> Green peppers, mushrooms, olives of any kind. They got like the worst defender of olives, black olives in here. Very little before. It's gonna be a mouthful even for a bear. Let's see how well this garden gets along. Mm. Actually, the conjunction of vegetables I actually quite like. That would just feels like a huge bite in the omelet in my mouth, and like a nice well cooked omelet. Not the still half soggy noodle because they didn't cook all the way through the omelet. That is good. Four and a half out of five plus. We need more of these.
So I go back to the second round and I found my first flaw of Goofy's Kitchen. The line for the made-to-order omelets is right in the middle of like the main protein and like brunch section. And so the line forms halfway around the kitchen because there's not one, one line. Because when they're in line for the omelets, they're blocking the rest of the food. Even with my patience. Either way, I'm interesting items we got this time. So, a beef taquito. I'm assuming this is the kid station because the chicken tenders and the mac and cheese are all on the same station. But a beef taquito for breakfast, I'm not going to play. We need salsa. We need salsa. They had salsa by the omelet station. They did. Hey, Goof. Who's the greatest Goof around? You are. <laughs> It's got the front. You can definitely use more filling. I'm sorry, have you ever had a taquito before? Do you know what a taquito is supposed to look like? No. Well, from Whataburger. I have no words right now. Remember where you are, okay? You're in California. It's supposed to be dry? But you're supposed to have salsa. Oh. It's like tortilla chip dry. It's not supposed to be like a hot pocket. I'm not a fan. Two out of five plus. And then, close my breakfast station so full last time. I didn't get the French toast. So I return for the French test. I also lost my knife. So we're gonna do this with a spoon. We're gonna play the full 360. I don't think I need my knife anymore if you want it. There you go. A nice fluffy piece of French toast. Tell me the goof in his food, they don't miss. Pretty much roll. That's some sauce first time. Four out of five bars. Then we have our standard Disney bacon. It looks bacony. It's stiff and properly cooked. It's fatty but not too fatty. And it's still got a crunch. Um, while I stood behind that very big omelet line, they were bringing that bacon on and off with the pudding. So like bacon never sat there for too long. But I took it off and put off fresh bacon so it's always crispy. Just kind of small things. Makes a good buffet. Four and a half out of five claw bacon. And we have some plain scrambled eggs. So I didn't want to wait for an omelet. We'll try them the other way. Beaten like our souls during this last Pescanini. Mm. Nice and fluffy, flavored. A little bit of hint of butter in there. They don't really need anything. They're good as they are. Three and a half out of five plus. Then we have the pork sausage. I usually avoid sausage that usually comes a ton of grease. I don't like this one's been cooked, it's got a nice color to it. It's actually nice and dense, so it's not too greasy at all. And that sausage flavor without feeling like you just swallowed a grease trap. Last up, Wait. the sausage, two and a half out of five plus. Last up, we have the Eggs Benedict. You're wrong. It's a bear, I love Eggs Benedict. But uh, Eggs Benedict is a lot of butter. Like a lot of butter. And I brought a single magic pill. So we're gonna be careful with this one. You seriously only have one magic pill? The knife, please. Oh, please take the smallest of bites. I'm scared now. I'm really scared now. Is it small enough? Uh, 
Just a tiny bit of hollandaise. Just be careful. Okay. Come on, let it go. It's mine now. Mm. Oh yeah. At its peak. It's so interesting to see like eggs Benedict on a, on a line. Made to order of some seen, but like made just sitting on the line ready to go. With how difficult it can be if you're not used to making eggs Benedict, how easy it is to, to mess up the hollandaise. This is good. It's four and a half out of five faults. I wish I could have more, but I'm not gonna need another bite. Or I will be in an incapacitated bear for the rest of the day. <laughs> So I had to go back for some extras. There's so much of that. I don't think I'm gonna be able to try everything. There's some things on there. They had like uh, locked cream cheese crackers. Obviously, I cannot handle the cream cheese. Uh, there's two soups. Uh, and then two Mexican soups that I don't think I'm gonna get to, but I'm gonna try. Uh, the one thing I couldn't skip out on is chicken tenders because one of my one of my adopted sisters loves Disney chicken fingers, and I feel that if she watched this, she would call me out on skipping them. So here I am, getting her beloved uh, Disney chicken fingers. Okay. I can see why she likes them so much. The chicken and breading ratio, it's like 80 to 20 percent bread and chicken. So enough for a nice crunch, but still a nice big chunk of juicy white meat. It's a chicken finger. You're gonna have the five plus. Then we got some of the seasoned veggies. Looks to be like some maniki mushrooms, some zucchini, broccoli, lots of the veggies. Serve sure, a warming season. One thing that this buffet does not miss out on is seasoning. I've always given other places a pass for like making food in a buffet or quick service for like the average palate. If you like flavors, this is the buffet for you. Those vegetables, three and a half out of five. Days. And then we have like uh, some Mexican beef, yes. Salt Yes. Uh, maybe a bit more cacchini cheese than I can handle. Let's scrape a little bit of that off there. I wasn't expecting the texture to be so tough. It's not bad. Have you had sofas before? No. Two and a half out of five pounds. PB and J pizza. I had to get this. I am actually a PB person. I'm not a J person. I want you to tell me in the comments: Are you PB? Are you PB and J? Are you J? I want to know. Um, there are so many other food items on the line that I can eat, but Chef hooked me up so hard on modified food items that I don't think I can eat any more items on the line outside of this. This is just, whew. The fact that even their Spanish rice is vegan though is like impressive to me. They, they know what they're doing. Mm. Oh my God. Did I eat pizza? Or did I eat PB and J? I think I just ate a PB and J. That was amazing. I don't even like J. And I'm here for this PB and J pizza. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for all the other PB and J things we have in store here at Disneyland. I 
love this place so much. I'm gonna give this PB and J pizza a five out of five, and I'm gonna say it's on my princess's list as crazy as that is, because it got me like jelly. So, uh, I feel like pizza is like the same category as taco. If you're brave enough, there are no rules to what to put on pizza. You can literally put anything on a pizza. You want anchovies? Put it on pizza. You want marshmallows and chocolate? Put it on a pizza. You want broccoli? Yes, even broccoli on a pizza. And it will pizza. This is interesting. Gives me a nice vibe. I actually prefer my, my peanut butter warm. Like, like room temperature warm, like two steps above that warm. Feels like the peanut butter and the jelly belong with each other. They're always meant for each other. Somehow, that's Four and a half out of five points. So I had to one up the princess's pizza because if she's gonna have that amazing PBJ pizza, why can I have a hazelnut and chocolate marshmallow pizza? S'more. Hazelnut and s'more just work. Like everything a dessert pizza should be. A little bit of salt, a little bit of warm, a little bit of magic. That's a five out of five claws. That's a must get for me. Now, knowing the word, I'm gonna be able to eat every dessert on that that bar so I wasn't even gonna try it. I just picked out some that look good, some favorites, and things I haven't tried. And we have an apple strudel bar. They had tons of little different cheesecakes too next to these, but obviously I couldn't have a cheesecake, so I set up for a strudel bar. It is in fact tons of apple strudel. Nice flaky top, nice apple center. Yeah, roll that. Three and a half out of five balls. Thank you. And then I got the base chocolate brownie instead of chocolate cake. It is in fact brownie consistency. Dense but not too dense. And a nice bite. It's a little bit fluffy. It's a three and a half out of five balls. Good surprise. In the bar, macaroons. Macaroons have been a theme for us this year. I haven't really tried too many Disney macaroons, but after the uh, Shell Town Leon vegan ones that we tried, I'm excited to try as many as I can. Nice little bite to it. Perfectly sugary. Macaron, macaron. Mm. Those are slowly climbing the ladder. They're my favorite dessert piece. Four out of five bucks. So we have this beautiful vegan cake. It almost looks like, um, can I say this on YouTube? A slutty brownie? It looks like a slutty brownie. Coconut, coconut mm. flakes and everything. Oh Lord.
Now, if you like coconut, this is gonna be your jam. But if you're like me, zero. Zero. I just, I just destroyed my napkin. Oh, Lord. I was so focused on the cake, I didn't see the princess's face at first. I just came back up to pain. Uh, I'm kind of afraid of this one now. I don't hate coconut as much as the princess does, but there's a limit to the amount of coconut that I can handle. Nice right, so little corner there. It's smelling like anything. <laughs> if mounds and almond joys were cake instead of candy bars, that's what that is. That's how much coconut is in there. It's like a good, I would say, easily 40% coconut. And like, not like mints or dice, like long threads of coconut. You don't like coconut to like this. Coconut. It's not bad. So it's not my jam. Two and a half out of five balls. We have this beautiful vegan brownie filled with walnuts, which I'm here for. Though I don't like nuts in my fudge, but I will take them in my brownies in small doses. This is covered in nuts. But it's got a nice like dark chocolate flavor throughout that I'm here for. This is a winning dessert. I would give this four out of five desserts. We need this everywhere. The spray of desserts continues. I'm in full. Not a good way. It's a lot of food here. We need everything. But we can't skip the plant-based stuff. Nice plant-based brownie. Nice thick, big brownie bar. I want you to put in a little slices to get on the bar. So be sure to ask for your plant-based dessert. It's a good brownie. But it's like oral quicksand. It got so much more denser when I started chewing it, it was like a mouth blue. I don't think it's a good brownie, but my only issue with it is I think there's one too many walnuts. You need to cut back the walnut consistently by like half. And then it would be a good brownie. As it is, three out of five plus. One day we'll come here. Goofy's Kitchen. Over at Chef Mickey in the week. I am more stuffed than I've been at a Disney buffet a in buffet. a long time. Uh, Mad props to Hulissa, I think that's how you say her name, my chef, that really hooked it up for me. She took out all the stuff. She was amazing. She made you like some of everything. She made me so many good things. And then I they still had her. a lot of plant-based stuff on the line. Uh, this is the first buffet we've eaten at where I felt like there was more than I could actually feasibly eat. And everything was above average. Do you think this is the first Disney breakfast you've ever been to where you feel like it's actually worth it to go to a Disney breakfast? Possibly. The array of food, it's a normal character dining, and you get a complimentary photo pass before you even start your meal. And this. And a button. I think I left mine at my table. But Oops. that was a lot, and I'm full, and this camera's getting heavy. So if you guys think there's a buffet that beats this on property, by all means, let us know in the comments. If anyone else can see us go, of course, it's also going to be a place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this and we have new videos five days a week monday tuesday wednesday thursday saturday we'll see you soon be sure to subscribe you heard the girl i like this video and if you don't comment bear will never let me come to disneyland again you guys please please that's probably true but you heard the girl please. What do we have here? So these are the sky buckets. You came in through Tomorrowland around the submarines. You came up here. They loaded you in these buckets and then you went inside the Matterhorn. And then you came out back around and it was scary, but it was really cool. There was no like 
bars or cages or seat belts or anything. It was a it was a dangerous ride that had to be closed. Good old fashioned safety. Good old streets. fashioned eighties. Who needs safety? Well, this, so this is concept art for the Disneyland Hotel pool area. It used to be Peter Pan themed. So you used to have Skull Island here, and then Trader Sam's used to be called the Lost Bar. So you would be able to walk through these caverns. There'd be um, underground ones like this you could go down into, and then in the water they would do the World of Color show. <laughs> Monorail that drops you from here. Grab it. That's my first job at Disneyland was at the Five and Dime in Toontown. you was excited to be in a hotel and I don't a know long how time. Long. It's been a long time. I, I just love this hotel more than any other Disney hotel I've ever been to. Just I think because I pretty much grew up here 